They are our constant companion, but when the workday is done, are you still consumed by a heavy load of work-related calls and emails? And how much of your personal time does that eat up? I'd say probably about 10 to 15 hours a week. If you're an hourly employee, should you not get paid overtime for that? What if you worked in the Chicago Police Department's Bureau of Organized Crime? If they have half-hour phone call outside of work hours to a superior about a search warrant they're going to work on the next day, that is something that needs to be paid for. Paul Geiger represents Chicago Police Sergeant Jeffrey Allen, who's suing the city, contending that he was very frequently required to use his department BlackBerry when off duty, and that he was not compensated for it. Police brass say Blackberries and smartphones are extremely valuable tools. They're on them constantly, very often on their own time. They don't get OT, but they're exempt employees, unlike Allen and roughly 200 members of the organized crime section who got department Blackberries and are paid by the hour. Labor law in the United States, to a great extent, needs a real house cleaning. Labor expert Bob Bruno says technology is running far ahead of the law, but that there may be merit to Allen's claim that required off-duty BlackBerry use violates the Fair Labor Standards Act. It would seem to me that every one of those phone calls um, is a work-related call, and it will add up. The city says it has work policies and procedures in place, allowing police officers to request overtime. Mayor Daley called my lawsuit silly when it was filed. The lawsuit's not silly. The lawsuit seeks to enforce the law.